Hello, welcome to my C2 fishing guide. You'll need 38 magic and also to have cosmics and a two-hander bound. It's recommended to have decent melee stats and to have the best two-hander bound that you can wield. Another thing which will come in handy is the berserker or tactician tiers on your ring of kinship. If you have spare tokens you could upgrade the tiers to speed it up a bit. Um, I personally use berserker but it's up to you. Okay, so now you need to set your quick prayers. So if you're 95, you should use turmoil. If you're 70 prayer, you should use piety. And if you're not 70, you should just use the attack and strength prayers on the standard prayer book. Okay, now on to the rest of the guide. Okay, now we can start. First thing you need to do is start a party and click on the entrance. Um, click on floor one and click confirm and then click complexity 2 and click confirm grab the key and trade the smuggler sell something and buy 250 feathers click beside the door you can open and make a gate on the way and click through the door from here you can just do the dungeon as normal fishing spots on the way as you can see you're getting quite a lot of xp per spot here but not all of them are this much half the spots are halved xp doesn't matter though as you're still getting really fast xp rates this fishing spots um, halved XP. You should do all of your guardian doors how you would normally do them making sure that you activate your quick prayers that you set earlier. You should also make sure that you're either on accurate or aggressive stance depending on which class you are using on your ring of kinship. At level 90 this method can be anywhere between 100 and 120 K XP per hour. At level 80 it may be a bit slower because you can only do salvials and blue crabs and obviously the lower level you go down the lower the XP will be I don't have XP rates below 90 but you could easily work them out by just recording how much XP you get in an hour one thing that will greatly speed up your XP rates is leaving at the right time if you see the boss then you've left too late a good way to see when you should leave is by looking at the map if your map looks full and you only have one key left and there's only one door left this is most likely the time to leave as you can see on my map the map looks finished and there's only one door which I have the key for this is the time to leave it's pretty much just common sense as to when you should leave to leave the dungeon go to the dungeon tab and click leave party hold space hold one and leave the dungeon that concludes the guide I'm gonna leave you with a clip of me completing a dungeon the clip will be sped up so yeah enjoy the music Thank you.